you just got promoted to a new manager's position. You go to get introduced to the team. Are you ready? You have a speech in place? Oh, you do? It's going to be a nervous 30, 60 minutes, but if you do these few things first, everything will fall into place. More after the intro. What's going on? This is Marky Williams, and welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. This is a channel where you can learn a new skill set or brush up on an old one. Continuous education and improvement should always be a priority if you want to stay current in your field of work and plus get paid your worth. Enjoy the tutorial, and all the links will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like if this tutorial was informative. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any training courses you may want to pick up. Comment below as to what you'd like to get certified in, and I can send you a link personally to check out. So let's get started. Jumping into number one, you don't want to go in and give a grand vision on how you're going to change up this and that, because this is really going to destroy what you really need to do first. Trust building. Build your trust with your new team. You're going to show you're humble. You're going to show your trust and that you don't know it all. You're going to show your team that you're open to accept help from them in order to make this team work. Take notes on your team, their likes, their dislikes just by listening to them without acknowledging them. This could be a conversation they may be having in a hallway with a coworker, or they may be talking about sports or an activity they partake in. How many of your team members have family? Listening to what your team say and do can be a good icebreaker when starting off the next meeting. You can also talk to your colleagues and upper management team as well about your employees to get a sense of who is who. Now take this with a grain of salt and always do your own footwork with filling out your team. Also keep in mind, you could be overseeing 10 to 20 people at a time. There's gonna be at least five to seven who actually run the show. So you need to get their trust and vice versa. Once you gain their trust and get them on your side, they're gonna go back and actually vouch for you and that will help the transition go a bit more smoothly for you. This don't mean to go brag about yourself for the next 30 minutes about your accomplishments. Well, maybe some likes how you made it to the position you're in now, but also throw in some mishaps as well. Express your hobbies if you have any, traveling experience you may have. If upper management gave you a heads up on your team being a big fan of tailgating at college games, you could throw that in as well to gain attention of your new team. Keep in mind, it's a learning process still let your team know you're still learning this new role. Let them know you understand the procedures, but what's the process? Why do you do this and why do you do that? Express to them it's not for me to say what is right or what's wrong, but why? Let them know it's okay to express your feelings about the process, whether it's right or your teammate think it's wrong and dumb. Now is a great time to get some feedback on that process and allow your team to fix it where it works for them in order to be productive. Also keep in mind in which a lot of new managers do is change things up that have been working all along just for the sake of a ma manager power trip. During this meeting, ask the team what is off the table when it comes to change in the department. Something that is etched in stone such as work hours. A lot of management also aren't aware of. Work hours do throw everything off for employees that have been working those set hours for years. Whether it's work related, deliveries may get screwed up, or family matters that get handled at 8 a.m. every other morning. And now management changed the workday to start at 7 a.m. That little hour difference can have you losing some good employees. Also ask the question what needs to be fixed that no one wanted to back you up on or it has been expressed but nothing happened. Open the floor as to what is the best thing about working here versus the worst thing about working here. If you got promoted from within side, you may be able to relate to some of the things they're telling you. So make a list. Jot these things down in front of them so they can see that you're actively listening to them and their concerns. Also another big no-no is saying my door is always open for you. Your team may not know you well enough to swing by your office and start chatting it up. So here's a great opportunity to say over the next few weeks, I will do a little one-on-one -on -one talk with everyone 
that's here on a personal concern as well as how we operate, where we have issues and gaps, what needs to be done to fix them. Also, what they need to succeed at their job. By doing the one-on-one talk helps build a rapport and build trust with your team. And once you get the logist of the place, you can start implementing some things that need to be fixed. So here's the recap. Your first meeting should be getting the feel of your team and staff. Let them know you're not there to change everything up, but some changing will be need to include them in the changes. They will have a better insight than you. Since they do the work, let them know it's a learning experience for you as well as the new management position and feedback from the team will help you make that smooth transition. Many thanks for taking some time to check out my tutorial. All the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you won't miss out on any training certification courses you may want to pick up. Comment below done and I will reply back. You can check me out on Facebook under Marky Williams and there I also have a page online certification where you can like and follow as well. Please make sure you check out these certification courses as well that's floating around right here. Hope to catch you on the next tutorial. Many thanks. It's Marky Williams and I'm out.